Hey guys, fellow divers, Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips. Here we are, and I'm here for a very special reason. This is the first time we've ever done this. And, and Kevin and I were kicking it around, and we thought maybe you'd be interested in knowing a little bit about the scuba industry. Maybe you'd be interested in knowing <clears throat> how your scuba tank gets to you. When you go into your favorite dive store and you say, I want a blue mask, ba 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 doo, and, and, and he says, okay, it'll be here tomorrow. How does it get to you? Well, that's what we're here to find out. In fact, what we're doing, we're standing right here <clears throat> in front of Diversco. Diversco Supply. Diversco Supply. You've never heard that name. Uh, most of you have never heard that name. But Diversco Supply is one of the biggest scuba suppliers in North America. Perhaps the world. I'm not sure. But certainly in North America. Much of the scuba gear that you have, that you are wearing, that you purchase, came from Diversco Supply. How can I say that? Well, it's very simple. You've never heard of Diversco, but you have heard of Sherwood. Yes, and you've heard there's about 10 brand names. Diversco, as you see, is a distributor. So the scuba gear is made in California, or it's made in Virginia, or in the Far East. Some is made in Vancouver. It comes from all over the world. And for you to try to get that scuba gear, or for a dive store owner, I had a dive store for 50 years, for me to try to get that gear from you, uh, it's almost impossible. So a company called Diversco, they're not the only one, but a company called Diversco said, hey, Alec, we can take care of that for you. We'll get all the gear in that you think you're going to need, and we'll keep it in one spot. When you need something, you call me, tell me what you need, and we'll deliver it. That's the way it works. So you have manufacturers, and the equipment comes to a distributor. Diversco Supply, right here in Cambridge, Ontario. Very, very big. And again, you've never heard that name, but in a few minutes, we're going to go inside and see their fantastic, very modern operation. We're going to meet one of their major sales reps. He's okay. And we're going to take a little tour and show you some of the neat stuff in there. Come on, let's go. Beautiful, big, modern plant here in Cambridge, Ontario, Diversco's plant. Let's go on inside and meet Sandor, a good friend of mine and general sales manager. Come on, come on inside, everybody. There you go. Wow, nice office. Okay, come on in, everybody. Ah, oh, there he is right there. Very good friend of mine, as I just said outside. I don't tell many people that. But this is Sandor uh, in charge of making the place work. <laughs> he has a lot of help. <laughs> anyway, I want to have a chat with Sandor. Sandor is going to take us around the plant and, uh, and uh, show us the kind of things they do here at Diversco so that your scuba diving is easier and more fun too. Come on, let's go. Diversco, as I mentioned to you, is a big, big distributor. Now, it's not just scuba gear. No. Uh, in fact, they have other products and product lines that have been incredibly good for them as a business as well. But they, they, the scuba gear has been very, very important. They sell kayaks, all kinds of waterwear, and products like that. We're going to go over here now and talk to Sandor. How you doing, bud? I'm doing great. Good, good, good. Yeah, I've been doing Oh, I know this because I've seen this part before. You have. I want to yeah. go over and I want you to show me that new machine you were talking about. But the VLM. I see you got scuba tanks here. And, mm -hmm. and I see you're sold out of Kevin's favorite color, hot pink. You got scuba tanks here and scuba tanks down there and some over there. But some way down there, and there's some. I would have thought you'd have all the scuba tanks organized, but in one spot. Is there a reason for that, or just somebody uh, had nothing to do one day? Well, multiple reasons, right? One, when you're in distribution, space is everything, right? Yeah. So as we have the product, as we're moving it out, Space, free space opens up. We have new products coming in. We just kind of plug it in. I now, see. when an order comes down, everything's done electronically. You usually go to what we call a handheld gun. So that handheld gun knows where all the product is gotcha. located. Okay. So it will tell you that you have to go to, now, for example, 2301A. You can still find the product instantly, even though they're not necessarily all grouped. As it's the all grouped this. makes sense, but that is assuming that there's a human person walking out and looking for it. That's not necessarily the case. Well, in your case, for instance, you're not a human. So uh, <laughs> this is an old story. Sandra and I go back a long way. So we pick on each other quite a bit. You told me a scuba, aluminum scuba tanks are hard to find right now. They are. They're certainly in, in big demand, and there's a couple of reasons for that. One is uh, the manufacturer, uh, Catalina, that we deal with, for example. We've been distributing Catalina for 30-plus years now. 
Um, they have been mandated by the U.S. government to manufacture a lot of their business uh, to switch over to O2 cylinders because of, of COVID. So well, that was damn COVID. Demand. So you're telling me that the COVID problem, which is a serious problem, and we have, we have to take it seriously and yep. deal with it, but you're telling me that's affecting scuba divers too? It, it has been actually, yeah. Uh, I mean, it is one, it's, it's, it, a lot of times it feels like taking a cheap way out. You, you blame everything on COVID, but that's the reality. COVID has changed the way we have okay, done yeah. everything. Uh, because of the mass increase in the demand for oxygen cylinders, right? Sure, sure. Uh, that's where the focus had to be. Right. So cylinders, uh, CO2s, uh, right. oxygen, uh, oxygen became priority. Scuba, interesting. Yeah. Everything has taken a back seat to that. So um, what I was going to say is uh, how that affected the price? Is it affected price particularly? Pricing has been increasing as well because of raw material, uh, logistics, uh, shipping yeah. charges. Yeah. And uh, the cost of manufacturing has, sure. has gone sure. up as well. Oh, God, yeah. Now, well, you wouldn't think of that, huh? Yeah. Well, think of that, guys, that uh, uh, this, this worldwide um, epidemic, shall we call it, has affected uh, scuba diving. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How about that? Like, we used to get monthly orders from Catalina, but yep. right now we're down to two orders a year. So that means uh, the cylinder shipment that is arriving next couple of days, that's the one we placed back in july of 2021 well, that must make it so for you because you have to try to anticipate what you're going to need you don't want to run out if you're exactly, prepared not to run out. right well we don't have that option anymore if we're down to two orders a year we simply cannot we got to have cylinders yeah. you know, dealers will call us uh, they need the cylinders we yeah, and they want to something for them yeah absolutely well i know the way it was at uh, my dive store i would call you, you uh, as an example um, i need to have uh, two pink uh, cylinders, Kevin ordered them. The main reason we dealt with Diversco, uh, great company, a great product line, top quality, good prices and everything else, but it was always a customer service. I could call and if a customer was leaving on Friday and he needed a regulator, and it's Monday, I could call you on Monday or Tuesday and I'd have it on Wednesday or Thursday at the latest yeah. and a customer had it. Because if a customer goes into my dive store, my job is to make him happy. And of course, works the other way too yeah. when i call you your job is to make me happy yeah and you did and the customer right. is happy yeah and the reason it works really well my viewers listening kevin the reason it works really well is like it or not it is the customer meaning the diver the guy that yeah. gets into the water that has the money absolutely he has to give it to me in return for my great yeah. service and i give it to you in return for your great service that's the way it works yeah. i know well that's pretty interesting okay let's go look at some more stuff do you sell trailers we do we you sell didn't, everything you didn't do that before no this is something new well we started uh pr making trailers uh selling trailers about four years ago yeah, so yeah. we would do everything from small trailers that will wow. fit a personal watercraft to yeah. to doubles to fishing boats, to utility trailers, to actually like big cigar boats that are custom made. Oh, really? Anything oh, fantastic. Deal yeah. with the company called. And I, and I see your stack of kayaks up there. Yeah. Yeah, your kayak. And your, well, it's, a water, it's not just kayaks, it's a water sport business. It's a water sport, yes. You do everything, right? You, so it's, it's actually called uh, a recreational division of Diversco. What's in the big boxes? These are um, floating docks. So we, um, when you. See? I told you. It's not just scuba. Now, I think. Scuba was one of your very first lines, way, yeah. way back. That's how I know these guys from, how long have you been around now, 30 years? 29, 28. There you go, pretty yeah. good guess, huh? Pretty and good. it was Scuba, but uh, they've grown now, boy, oh boy, it's pretty amazing. Sorry guys, me, sorry to interrupt you. Okay, let's go. Well, listen, Sandro, that's great, the boats and the kayaks and tanks. But what about all the small stuff? What about, you know, I the suppose, I suppose I'd call you up and ask you for some O-rings. Small or accessories, yeah, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. bits and Pain pieces. Straps, mass straps, mouth. Yeah, exactly, divers love that stuff, you know. Of course, absolutely. Like a model train yeah. set. You go into a dive store, you got to buy a couple of things. Yeah. So how do you handle that stuff? Well, everything goes into this machine right here, and we call the VLM, okay? This is, you call this a machine? It's a big, big machine. The VLM stands for vertical, vertical lift module. Vertical lift module? Yes. They just couldn't, they couldn't call it a big machine with lots of shelves. This is the VLM operator. This is Holly. Hi. Holly, say hello. I've never met a VLM operator before. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Yeah. So, so you take care of all these uh, bits and pieces. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, something's happening here. So we're off to the races. We got multiple trays moving at the same time. The question is, which one's going to come down first, right? Oh, it's all oh, I see. It's a little bit of off, it's off so betting okay. as so well. You know, you never know what's going to show up. Whoa! Small bets here and there. See that? <laughs> Thank you.
Well, that's pretty slick. But oh. ah, yeah. ah, look at that, night trucks. So, so you must have thousands of these boxes. We do. How many are there? You're you're the expert. He's 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 just you know killer. You, she knows what she's talking. He's about. the expert. Yeah. How many boxes talk. are there? Forty-nine thousand. Yeah. Now is it, now. Are some items grouped, or is every separate item with a separate number has its own? One is separate. Forty-nine thousand. That's absolutely. Now I see some are bigger and some are smaller. Yes. How how does the machine know that? Because I told it. Oh, okay. All right. So I so, designed it to be that size to hold a. Yeah. Twenty of these. Right. One of these. So these are each one of these shelves is is custom designed for the products that you want in it. Yeah. And then you tell the machine what's on that shelf. Is yes. that kind of the idea? Yeah. Now each one of these boxes has its own number as well, or is yeah. it just this tray? Each box has its own number. Okay. All right. So show show us what happens here. So so can I can I tell you to pick something? Yeah. Double A04 adapter from Trident. We've got a couple of standard silicone mass traps as well. I forget the number. And the machine goes and gets it. Okay, now how do I find my product? I asked you for uh, for that adapter. You tried an adapter right there, yes. Okay. All right. And, and what you're looking for is looking for laser beam. Where the red light. Mm hmm Forty nine thousand items. <laughs> There's mine. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. So then you still have to manually go and uh, and pick. Correct. Yes. And when you pick them out, I placed a big order. You know, I have big orders. You know, probably about eighty, ninety dollars worth. <laughs> now you pick big order. You, <laughs> you pick out those items and they go into a box. Yes. All right. Oh, which is over here. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Then it goes on to that. And then somebody out there uh, takes that and packages it. If you need scuba tanks with your order, yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, if I don't? If it's just small stuff? If it's just small stuff, I send it down the line over here. And then I pick, or sorry, pack and ship it myself. Just for you. Ooh. With special care. 49,000 items, roughly. And... There it is, guys. That's what happened. When you walk into your local dive store and you say to your local dive store owner, um, Alec or whatever, uh, I, I need a mass strap for my uh, SL. And the dive store owner says, okay, I'll have it here tomorrow. And, you, blah, blah, blah. and this lady right here punches it in and this machine brings it out. Just that simple. These four machines have replaced about 10,000 square foot of uh, product. Wow. Right, that was a multiple shelf. So everything is is now in here. No, this so, is this is very vertical. Yeah. When that's how far back does it go, Holly? Is it just two trays wide? I believe is it just two trays? Yes. Yeah. Two thousand and twenty-two. That's how your scuba bits and pieces come. And that's Trident. Be a lot of Trident. Trident. Yeah. And your propane stuff's in there too, right? Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Lots of bits and pieces yeah. of propane. And, and this is where the human factor still comes in, right? But when the product comes in. It's very important that you get the right quantities, the right location, yeah. put it in there. Machine, right. as smart as they are, they are only as smart as the operator that put the oh, information absolutely. in. Absolutely. If something is mislabeled, right, instead of the AA04 that you were looking for, we put in the AA05, uh -uh. the machine doesn't know that. Yeah, it yeah, it yeah. brings it down, and the operator still has to catch that mistake or put it, do it right. Sure, sure. It was. Now, here's another question then that just popped into my head. You get a big shipment in from Trident. Yeah. What happens to it? I mean, so, does somebody physically have to? Absolutely. So we have an afternoon shift, for example, and that's their task to be able to receive and put the product away. So it's it's crucial, again, that the product is clearly labeled. It goes in the right place. Otherwise, mistakes can happen. Yeah, well, and I wouldn't know who to yell at yeah. if I get the 005 instead of a 004. But you never stop yelling at me. <laughs> so it's, uh, well, it all comes down to you. I always blame you. There you go. Or it's just more fun. That's what I'm here for. Okay, so what about my mass traps? I ordered some black silicone mass traps. Yeah. Now this drawer came out. Absolutely. Okay. So Holly brought the machine down, and as you can see right here, it tells you the location, right? The description of what the product so is. The two means one two. Exactly. Like that. Deep. So there's and, and there they are. Follow, the follow the laser light on your yeah, head, right? Yeah. You grab three, four, five, whatever the order called. Right. There is an acknowledgement button right here yeah. that you have to hit. 
the order gets assigned. Well, that, 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 that means what? That I've got my item? acknowledgement. Yeah. So it, Done. it also tells the machine that now you have to remove two of them or right. three or four yes. out of stock. Inventory. So that would change for the next person who's going to be placing an order. Right. So everything is real live inventory. Right. So the information is also tied to the shoot right here. The product goes in here. There's also a second acknowledgement. So this is my box, for my order. That's your box right there. Yeah. All right. So the strap goes in there and the double A04 goes in there. Da, 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 da. Yep. And when all my 21 items uh, go in, yep. this box full and then yeah. so it shut that off and off it goes. Exactly. So now here's a question, right? If depending on the size of your order, if all the items you were looking for are small items, gets picked and packed right here. If it's 100% yeah. filled, it goes down the chute. Let's say you wanted scuba tanks or big, large yeah. owner bags that we simply don't have this, or we don't stock sure. it here. It goes down the bottom of the chute right here. Right. Uh, one of the pickers who have the electronic guns, yeah. right, they will pick that up, quote unquote, pick it up in the bottom of the chute. Yep. It will say started, it's a mixed order. Yes. Then they know that they will take whatever they have, put it in the shopping cart and will go following the gun, tell them what location to go to, what to pick, and that's how they finish off the order. At that time, they come back to the shipping area right here behind you, Kevin. It gets packed up and it gets put through the different carriers. That so it's, it's largely the same mechanical system, except out here is a guy walking around with a gun, and here there's a beautiful machine. Exactly. That's doing all the physical. Oh, exactly. That's oh, pretty slick, boy. Oh, boy. I've been out of the industry now for six years. Six years ago, we retired. My gosh, time flies. And uh, <laughs> some changes. I mean, they're good changes. Well, I can see anyway. This should, they make, should make the dive store owners happy anyway. Yeah. You have more products and... They're there. Well, we're centralized where we are here in Ontario. Yeah. So we can hit the East Coast and the West Coast yeah. on average about five. Well, I know I know you guys who do the whole right. co darn country. Yeah. 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 And and uh, for all my uh, American viewers as well, diversity is very big in the United States. And I don't know what state they are. Uh, what, what, I don't mean what state, but what position they are with respect to their automation. And there, I got to I got to believe it's the related. Automation over there is coming. Uh, they're certainly a lot larger than we are. So yes. you, here in Canada, we strictly deal with the Canadian market. Right. Yes. In the U.S., they will also deal worldwide. So they will have sub distributors in Australia, in Africa, in in, in South America, in Europe, and all that. Right. Uh, Asia as well. So they will be servicing the entire country. Yes. We, on the other hand, we just focus on our Canadian market. This has been fantastic, Sandra. I really appreciate your hosting us. This has been a lot of fun. I'm sure the dinosaurs are happy here. Well, here in the parking lot, what's these look like submarines. These are propane tanks, aren't they? Correct. Because we, we have a, ours aren't this big at the house, but I recognize these because a lot of our neighbors have big tanks like this. Yep. So what is it, that, what, what, what do you think has been Diversco's greatest key to success? What has made Diversco uh, oh. so noteworthy? You really put me on a spot here, to be honest with you, but... Uh, well, I know it's not you. Yeah. So let's go over that right away. <laughs> okay. Uh, it comes down to service. So if you just produce the best service that you can, uh, the business will follow after that. What makes us a little bit different, I, I guess, is that we, instead of focusing one or two different product lines, we have been uh, distributing many different product lines yeah, in Scuba. Yeah, I mean, everything from, from Sherwood, Genesis, Econa, which are the three sister companies, to Catalina Cylinders, Faber Steel Tanks, yeah. Trident Dive Accessories. Yeah. Uh, seat your mouthpieces, yeah, yeah. Uh, you well, know, that's back to filters and everything. Yeah. So we are basically a one, I don't want to say a one-stop shop, but yeah. we, Pretty close. if you were to open up a dive store right now, starting from scratch, yes. we could outfit you a, a dive store with 80% of the product that you probably yeah. be needing with yeah. lots of yeah. different product lines, yeah. uh, accessories, everything. So we could fill about 80%. Wetsuits and, and bags and regulators and tanks and so many different products that you're quite right. You could pretty much outfit a dive store from Diversco. And that certainly makes it attractive. Yes. You know, and more efficient as well. Been great to see you again, buddy. Always <laughs> pleasure. All the kidding aside, <laughs> you've always you've always been a lot of fun to deal with. And uh, and now you guys know about Diversco. You know who Diversco is. And uh, next time you go to a dive store, take a look around and see if you don't recognize some Diversco products. And ask the dive store owner if he knows Diversco and what he needs. Anyway, I thought you might enjoy that. Alec Pierce, uh, Scuba Tech Tips. A little bit of information on. How your scuba tank got to you. Well, maybe not a scuba tank right now. They're hard to find. But anyway, all your bits and pieces. Now you have a better idea. Keep those comments coming. I'll do my best to answer them all. And have a good day. Bye-bye.